multiplayer has quickly become the standard for modern day video games. Many AAA titles require players to go online for the full game experience, with some major titles omitting local play altogether. Enter Overcooked, the first game released by two-person indie developer Ghost Town Games. Overcooked offers the polar opposite of the AAA online experience by focusing only on local play. It's a callback to gaming past, when online games never existed and the only way to play with friends was to be in the same room on the same console. Within the first few minutes of the main game, it's evident Overcooked's intentions are to bring back old-school, couch-style multiplayer as it teleports the player back to the 90s. Campaign mode sets up a simple story featuring King Onion and his dog Kevin, who is probably the cutest video game dog ever. And speaking of cute, I have to mention the art style and presentation of Overcooked. Everything is presented in a 3D cartoon style that is incredibly charming, from the human chefs to a cat chef to the map itself. There's no doubt Ghost Town Games put a lot of effort in making a polished game. After a short intro, you're placed on the map, where you drive your food truck from level to level and across worlds a la Super Mario Brothers, with small scenes in between worlds. Each level consists of fulfilling orders as quickly as possible, while having a chance to earn bonus coins. The faster the order is delivered, the higher the tip. A missed order or incorrect order will result in a 10 coin penalty, which doesn't seem like much in early levels, but definitely makes a difference as you reach later levels. After completing a level, you are given stars based on your total earnings with the maximum of three stars. These stars are added up over the entire campaign and unlock new levels, so going back to stages that only have one or two stars may be necessary to progress. The controls consist of only three buttons, the joystick, X, and square button. The joystick is used to move, the X button is for picking up and dropping items, and square is used for actions such as chopping or washing dishes. This simple control scheme is one of the greatest strengths of Overcooked, making it accessible to players of all skill levels. I played this with a family member who grew up playing arcade games and has very little console experience, and after one or two rounds they have the controls down. And isn't that what couch co-op games are supposed to be? Different recipes are featured from soup to hamburgers, fish and chips, and pizza, with each one calling for different ingredients. Soups are the easiest to make since they require three of the same ingredient, while hamburgers are more difficult since the orders can vary on toppings such as lettuce and tomato. Since you only have a fixed amount of time to complete each order and the level itself, time management and teamwork are of the utmost importance. Some ingredients have to be chopped on the chopping board before being plated or cooked, and cooking times vary based on the recipe. Ramping up the kitchen complexity is the need to wash dirty dishes before you're able to plate new food, and the possibility of cooked items starting a fire that can spread while you try to find the fire extinguisher to douse the flames. And that's just the normal kitchen. Adding crazy map elements such as shifting countertops, conveyor belts, sliding on ice, even moving cars and you have a recipe for disaster. No pun intended. It's elements like these that keep the difficulty level rising. While some levels may have simple recipes, the map can make preparing them take twice as long, and calmer maps may present more complex recipes. There are no power-ups, no cheat codes, only the players and a kitchen. All these obstacles make it necessary to have multiple players and great communication. It's easy to get wrapped up in your task, only to look up and realize that your entire team is behind. We would plot out our strategy each person having a task, only to find the level get the best of us and having to regroup and try again. These multiple attempts never became cumbersome or tiring though, since there is a sense of accomplishment each time you set a new record or gain three stars in a level. Each level is like a puzzle, with no one strategy as the answer. It all depends on your team and their approach. Multiplayer is where Overcooked shines, and it produced more than its fair share of emotions. While multiplayer shines, going through the story by yourself proves quite the challenge. I began the campaign solo and was able to make a fair bit of progress before running into the issue of not having enough stars for the next level. While it is possible to play in single player, it becomes clear that having at least two players makes the experience a bit more manageable. Single player is my only complaint with the game, as it becomes extremely difficult to switch back and forth between characters and levels that move or require complicated orders. On complex maps, I often found both my characters on one side of an obstacle, unable to get to what I needed. Most of the issues I faced while solo were immediately improved when playing with a friend, and we achieved higher scores than playing single player. I think a simple improvement would help since every player does not have a group of buddies to play with. 
Overall, Overcooked is one of the most charming, fun, and accessible games I have played in a long time. Its distinctive art style, simple controls, level design, and multiplayer madness make it a must-have for group play and families. While its story is simple and single player could use some improvement, neither one of these aspects takes away from a fantastic game. So do yourself a favor and taste what Ghost Town Games has cooked up. I guarantee it will leave you satisfied.